Hello guys. Well, we're back out for another one. On the last video you saw, I did a, another marsh run uh, in a cold weather. It was about 25 degrees-ish. I did about three miles on the dike system in waders. Got a, got a quick limit doing that. Uh, but I watched a big group of mallards. They were using some open water that was out in the middle of one of these pools. Well, that's where we're gonna go today. Uh, it's midday. It's about 12 o'clock-ish. We're gonna, gonna go out. It's a mile and a half in, and then a half a mile of breaking ice to get out in the middle of this pool. We're gonna set up our decoys and uh, see if they come back today. So here we go, enjoy. All right guys, here we are, busting ice. Going after these midday ducks. The ice is about an inch and a half thick. So it takes a significant amount of weight to bust through it. As you can see, uh, you can see that it's, it's hazy. That's rotten ice. What caused that is it got warm, started to thaw, and then it refroze. That stuff, if you ever go ice fishing, guys, don't ever walk out on that. That stuff is just rotten as all get out. You go right through. That's where we're going, that open pool. Clear at the end. The rest of this is all iced, but right at the very end is open. And these ducks have just been piling into that thing. So that's where we're headed. It's a half a mile off the dike. Uh, it's a good amount of work to get back in there, but it's sure gonna be worth it. I love this bread. Hey guys, check out the camouflage I'm wearing. This is a Columbia Quad Parka from 1980. That's right, it's 40 years old. Uh, and this camo pattern just blends in perfectly with these cattails and this marsh grass. So my height is right over here. They have to fly over me to get to the decoys. And I think this camouflage is one of the main reasons that I can get away with that. So check it out, 40, 40 years old. Oh yeah, baby, there we go. Whamba. Boy, they like this spread. I just set it up, I only had the spinner going yet. Just got the camera up, and there they are right in my face. Mally's baby. I did get excited and shoot that Susie too. Let's finish getting set up here. Get the get the spinner on and get the rest of them. Boy, they love it. Here's spray guys. Got some geese out there. There's about 125,000 geese in my area. So you know you might get a loner or two in that kind of thing. So let's go pick up the quacks. There he is. Look at that. Oh man, that guy's a stud there, baby. Look at that. Yeah.
Nice looking duck right there, guys. No band. We're gonna get that Susie later. We're gonna tuck in here these cattails. Throw us out a little spot. Drop the last four. Here we go, right here. Look at this. Look at this. There we go. Well, I'll tell you what, I need to get to shoot and drop them things so I don't have to walk after them. That's craziness. All right, guys, here, look at this. I just shut the camera off, turned it right back on. Got another group coming in. This is the whole difference right here. There's another spot, a little open water over there. And that's probably another, gosh dang, another four or five hundred yards over there out into this thing. You know, and I, I am right at, I busted right at a half a mile of ice. Here's, see, look at all the ducks up. They're just everywhere. I'm going to get a little deeper into these cattails. Not that I need to, obviously, but just a little better hide. You always want to improve your hide, right? Ah, them turkeys. Boy, it's going to be hard to compete with right there, man. I've got probably, there's probably a hundred ducks in there now. In that other spot, see? I'm certainly not going to bust another 500 yards ice, go over and get them up. I'll just compete. I, I got all afternoon. <laughs> I'm not doing that. There he is right there, guys. Look how he blends in. Look at that. Look at that beak, he's real, man. Dry lock number twos. Good looking duck right there, guys. Prairie stud, huh? Prairie more stud right there. Look at that beak. Took some shrapnel, buddy. All right, guys, there's, there's a blood trail from that hen right there, that Susie. And there she is. See how she's tucked in there? See how she's tucked into that weed? There's the blood trail. You always gotta look for that. Boy, they're, they're tough, look at that. All right, guys, here we go. We got a group, uh, they're way off. They're probably a quarter to three eighths of a mile away, but they're headed this way, so. I'll tell you, with this open water, everything else is ice, and these ducks knowing that this is open water, right there, I got two locked up. Two locked up right here. There they are. Drake's in the, on the right. There we go. Well, I'll tell you what, I gotta work on my shooting guy. That's awful. That's just awful. I gotta, I gotta aim a little better. I let the Susie go, obviously. Oh, well, we'll go out here and pick up that mallard. Here's kind of a look at the spread, guys. I got, uh, Goose decoys over here on slid out on the ice. I got one floater. Uh, that dead mallard's right next to that floater. A little group of two, a little group of two, a spinner and a group, a little group up there, a little group over here. Uh, and then I'm standing right here in a little group. So here's where we're wanting them to go. This is the spot right here. And literally guys, I am, I am about 20 feet, not yards, but 20 feet. That's my hide right there, those cattails. I'm 20 feet, so I'm running a skeet choke. Uh, if I wouldn't have been running a skeet choke, I probably would have never got those, the three that I did. Uh, four with the Susie. They're just too close, guys. They're, they're feet down right in your face. I mean, they're just right there. I'm just, uh, I'm just not, sh not hitting them, guys. I, I'm gonna have to focus more, focus more on the shooting. Pray stud right there, pray marsh stud. Boy guys, I got ducks all over me. I just shut the camera off. 
I haven't been set up a full 20 minutes and there's just ducks everywhere. I'll watch behind me, make sure not sneaking in. Boy, guys, these things are just feet down right in your face, aren't they? Oh my gosh, I got the whole marsh to myself, too. This thing is huge, too. It's several miles across, several miles wide. I got the whole thing to myself. There you go, guys. 20 minute duck limit. I'm, uh, I'm a mile and a half in from where I parked and then another half a mile of breaking about inch and a half to two inch ice uh, out here into into a pool so what I do uh, I don't uh, I don't just set up next to a dike or somewhere that's easy to get at I go out here and I watch the ducks and uh, no matter where they're at that's where I go uh, wherever they want to be so uh, I watched a big group of mallards land to clear out here in the middle, uh, and this is why. It's, you know, it's, it's a spot of open water. It's about the only open water to be had on this marsh. So that's where they want to be. That's where I want to be. Uh, it's, a, it's more effort, obviously, than setting up. I could break off, uh, I could break a hole open next to a dike. It'd be a lot easier. Uh, but the success is is not going to be anywhere near this uh, and as you can see they're comfortable in this spot they've been using it during the day they're comfortable they put their feet down come right in tell you what that was a fast limit guys 20 minutes 20 freaking minutes when i was setting up i had flock after flock trying to come in there it was just amazing amazing to see so uh the ice that ice i'll tell you what that's it's good and bad for you right right now any open water that they're using that is fair game it's going to be just like that you, you're not going to be able to keep them out of there but uh, it's supposed to warm up here in the next week or so boy and i'll tell you what once all this water opens up i don't know it could be it makes things a lot more tougher a little sportier huh a little sportier if you enjoyed the video smash that like button and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already as always, more content coming real soon. See ya.